It's only entertainment. Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and a host of your cannabis business, live at MJ BizCon 2023 here in sunny Las Vegas. I'm here with Chad Blair. He is the Chief Sales Officer with the Pre-Roller out of Canada. Chad, thanks for being on The Talking Hedge. Yeah, happy to be here. Thank you. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about um, how the Pre-Roller came into existence, maybe some inspiration or how it came about. You guys are in Montreal, Canada. Uh, obviously federally legal, which is uh, fascinating, interesting. Pre-rolls being a significantly popular segment within the industry, no matter where you're at across the world. How'd you guys get into it? Yeah, so uh, Proceed Pack, which is the parent company of Pre-Roller, has been uh, in packaging, consumer goods packaging for pharmaceutical med device uh, and other consumer packaging goods industries for 20 years. Uh, about five years ago, an opportunity came along for them to get into the cannabis market and make a, a pre-roller machine. A lot of challenges with cannabis. Uh, everybody assumed that uh, just taking a cigarette-style machine and adapting it for cannabis was going to be the right way to go. But that spongy property of tobacco, where if you're holding your hands and fists very tightly and it springs back, that doesn't happen with cannabis. So as you know, the better the cannabis, the more sticky it is, the harder it is to process. We've made several modifications and have 110 people working at Prosipac now, 25 engineers who do nothing but think about how to manage those properties and make the machine better for those customers. So it's been a long, involved process, but we're very happy with where the machines are and, uh, and that we have over 250 machines deployed throughout Canada and the U.S. with customers making millions of pre rolls a day. Are you seeing any difference between your customer base on who's using it, whether it's like a, an old emerging, a, an old existing state versus a new emerging market? Is there any any difference in in the, the thought patterns? Because my my experience has been people will get a knock box and then realize, oh, this sucks and it's going to take a while. Are you finding that people are making the decision faster to get the proper automation, or are they still going through the same stupid cycles that we've seen on the West Coast for the last decade? Yeah, it's, the answer is both. Okay. Um, so people aren't learning. We're here to learn, but people yeah. aren't learning. There's some learning that's going on, and part of what we try and do is educate those people that in emerging markets, starting to, with the lowest possible cost of uh, for, for pre-roll and being able to get your, your uh, product into the market, in a high quality, low cost way, you have to start with automation, right? What most people do is, as you said, they buy a knockbox, they have 20 people sitting at tables making free rolls, and they wonder why they can't make any money. The answer is because that cost of labor is so hard, because after lunch, people come back high and then productivity you know, goes down. People don't show up to work. So all of those things we solve for, and we've come up with new packages for that market, right? So the dispensary market who want to make their own pre-rolls or the manufacturer who's looking to do, just starting, you know, 10, 20, 50,000 pre-rolls a month and isn't ready for a big piece of automation. Tell me about the, the evolution of some of the products here because just in the last year, 12 months that um, I saw you guys here at MJ BizCon last year, uh, you've got new products, new things that are out, including um, a centrifuge piece, that we could talk about in a minute um, that also has an option to have uh, injection for um, popular um, infused pre-rolls. But talk to me about like the first unit um, after the adjustments and, and things got rolling. Um, what do you guys have to offer for somebody who's looking for that next stage beyond a knockbox? Yeah, so Right after the knockbox stage, again, if you're doing anywhere from 10,000 to 50,000 units on a monthly basis, we have what we call our PRSTR, starter program. Um, we partnered with a company called Hummingbird for a centrifuge filling system, which, in my opinion, makes the knockbox obsolete. It's the compaction and the way that it fills, the uniformity of fill and weight is uh, superior. And when we partner with them, we take their pods and we put them right into our box finisher machine. And we can lift, twist, close, cut, and fold to make it look like a Dutch pound. One person can get 800 an hour done 
and a, a really high quality joints that pull like you would if you rolled your own. So a lot of times it'll either be a twist or a fold, but you're doing the twist cut fold. Correct. So we want to mimic so a Dutch crown as much as possible. So it's really tight and packed in there. It's not coming out the top, whether the, the package is upside down or not, so it can travel really well. Yeah. And the centrifuge is going to get it to the point where you're twisting, you're spinning it so fast that the base gets compacted the appropriate way, not with just some kind of rod that gets jammed in there, yeah. but gravity and everything kind of doing everything to the granule specifications. Exactly. So to the point where you can take the pre-roll after it comes out of the, of the hummingbird, turn it upside down, and you won't lose any product. But at the same time, it's not packed so tight that you can't pull on it very nicely. So it's that we, we think we found a system that, that marries those two different requirements, which is compacted so you don't have loose decks and you're not getting to doing with air pockets, but at the same time, not packed so tight that you know your, your cheeks are from trying to smoke the joint. So I thought it was interesting that that's only 75,000. If you want to add the infusion, it's an extra 40. So 105, uh, if I did that math, it, I think it was- Yeah, it passed a little while, but- Yeah, I think it was 105 total. Right, okay. So uh, roughly, uh, that's US dollars, I think, but- um, that's, that's really good for somebody who wants small scale. Some of these bigger machines that are pumping out a lot more, um, that are it's, it's, it's more automated because you don't have to take it out of the centrifuge, right? How much is that? And tell me about the advantages for, for that particular machine. So the big, the big difference between that and our PR200, which is our full automation next level, is the weighing system, right? On our starter kit, each of those pre-rolls, you're, you're getting a base weight from the tear, but it's not weighing each joint. With our PR200, you're getting 1,200 an hour. You're pouring the cannabis into a tumbler. It's going to weigh that amount, so you pick what your weight is. If it's a, a gram, you set the parameters to a gram to 1.05, so you're not giving away more material like you would in a manual operation. It's then going to compact it, and we, we compact as we go. So the fill is nice and tight, but also even throughout. And then, and then the next stage would be to uh, top that off, twist, cut, fold, and weigh it again at the end to make sure that nothing has happened during production and get you a final joint that is perfect. And the, uh, on those programs, because capital markets are so challenging, the financing is so challenging, what we've done is put together a lease program. So that machine to buy is $267,000. We're leasing it for 36 months with zero interest. On top of that, there's a maintenance program that we require if you lease it from us. So it's $5,000 a month, but we include all the maintenance, we take care of any repair, all service issues, and we'll also come out every thousand, I'm sorry, every million cycles to optimize the machine and retrain your operator. We want you to be as happy in performing uh, at the, the peak level and getting as much out of this machine as possible. Now, I know you guys got some stuff coming up. You guys are working on a machine that makes the cones. There's been a supply issue on, on the cones. Um, some of the major manufacturers have them, and then some days they don't, um, which is an interesting supply chain issue that some people have not been used to. So to circumnavigate that, you guys are working on a system to make your own cones that may or may come out in, in January. Don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Do you have anything else that... Um, you can talk about that you guys are working on um, that, that might come out next year. Yeah, so on the cones issue, we have a factory in, uh, in India that we're working with, two factories actually. So we sell cones. We've come up with a cone that is optimized for the performance of our machines. Um, the tolerance is, is very tight on them. And with automation, you want the same tolerance every time. Machines like consistency. So we know if you use our cones, you're going to have a very, very, uh, a, good, a better experience overall and have more uptime. Next year, we're working on a, a piece of equipment uh, because people are always looking for more throughput, more, uh, more automation for the, a lower price. We are, our engineering team is always dreaming up new ideas and new ways of doing things. So um, we hope to have a, a better mousetrap. Um, they're always working on it. We have some promising ideas. 
but until they're tested and we vet them out, we will not release them to the public because that's not where the test ground is. We do the testing in our facility, we, we vet it until we're happy, and then only then we'll release it. Yeah, I can respect that. I do the same thing on my day job. So uh, we've talked a lot today. We, there's a lot of stuff on the floor here that people will be able to see. Um, what have we not covered? What, yeah. what else do you want to talk about, being that there's a lot here to offer for automation within the cannabis space, um, specifically yeah. pre-rolls? So one of the things that um, we focus mainly, mainly on pre-rolls today, but that's half of the labor equation, right? Once the pre-roll is made, you have to put it into a container, label it, put some compliance data on it, put it into a package. Pre-roller is equipped to do all of that. So from start to finish, from A to Z, we can take your pre-roll from ground flour to a package finished good, ready for the customer's uh, purchase. And uh, I think people think of us just for pre-rolls, but half of our business is, is taking that next step and helping to reduce cost of labor on that side. Yeah, I think that's another thing I've noticed too at this show is is that expansion because it used to be just that base model and now everyone's, okay, we have the money. I think the need was always there. It's always and it's harder to find employees right now than ever. So people aren't showing up. They're not um, staying around. There's a lot of turnover, all of those things. And so people are looking for automated uh, solutions, even though it's um, a higher upfront capital injection, it's um, long-term is, is way, way better. Uh, for the bottom line if you think you're going to be around so um, i'm not surprised um, but it is nice to finally see kind of a, a full line production for packaging options from one company right so we're going to be there to support it the integration can happen we know that we can button up our pr 200 to our packaging line to our autofill line to our robot pick in place and it's going to work seamlessly because it's the same process same engineers we're also, because of we're doing that financing, we're hoping that you can reduce your labor costs, not hoping. We know you'll be able to reduce your labor costs and take those dollars and put them into the cost of the machine. And typically our ROI that we see is six months or less. Yeah, nice. So they get their money back within half a year. If people want some more information, they want to see it, talk to you, whatever, where is Pre-Roller at? Where, the, where can they find you at? Uh, we are at firstypack.com. Or if you want to see any of our equipment in action, we have a YouTube channel at freeroll.er. Okay. Or if you're um, in Montreal, swing by and say hi. All right, I think with that, I want to thank my guest, Chad Blair. He is the chief uh, sales officer with Pre-Roller. Chad, thanks again for being on The Talking Hitch. Yeah, it's been great. Appreciate it. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hitch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or don't. And I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got.